Hey guys, welcome back to Home with Theater Guru. So today we're gonna have an update video on the Tone Winner 8300 amplifier. This is an 11 channel amp that I've been running for about six months now. So I've had plenty of time with it and I think you're gonna be really surprised at how well this amp has performed, especially for, you know, considering the low price. Okay, so here we are, December 2023 and Today, this price for this amp is $1,775. This is an 11 channel beast of an amp. I mean, it really is, it performs exceptionally well. We do have different amp modules inside this amplifier. We've got three 300 watt amp modules. These are all at eight ohms. Three 300 watt modules for the LCR. So your LCR, which are generally gonna be further away, they've got more power and they also have a lot more content being sent to them. And then we've got eight amp modules for the surrounds, the rears, the Atmos, you know, so you can run a full 7.1.4 system off of this. The other eight amp modules have 155 watts at eight ohms, which is plenty of power. I mean, you're probably not even gonna use maybe half of that just because the surrounds and rears and Atmos are generally much closer to you than say like the LCRs. So that's going to reduce the power requirements considerably and I mean, in a lot of rooms, this amp will push your system to reference. I've had this room to about negative five from reference, which is extremely loud. I mean, most of my, my clients that I design rooms for, I design over 120 room designs per year, and that's been steady for the last few years. Uh, they're generally around negative 15 to negative 20. And I mean, I've been in this hobby for a few decades, and that's pretty much across the board. No one really listens at reference. I shouldn't say no one very 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 few people but if you have generally sensitive speakers you know in the low 90s to mid 90s you can hit reference with this amplifier you know if you're in the upper 90s yeah i mean no problem at all but the reality is most of us never go above 10 db from reference which is very very loud actually uh, I lock my receiver out or my AVM 70 at negative 10 because I don't want anyone pushing above that because as far as I'm concerned, that's kind of abuse. I mean, that's just way too loud. Uh, we're not even using half of the wattage of this amp has to hit those levels. I mean, it's a cakewalk for this amp, you know, to hit those high levels on this system. And in here, we've got a full triad system with gold LCR and silver sats everywhere else in the room. So of course, the big question is, how does it sound? Uh, first of all, if an amp sounds different or makes your speaker sound different, that is a big red flag. So if you had several amps you're trying out and one amp sounds warmer, or sounds brighter, then that amp is coloring the sound. We do not want the amp to color the sound. The amp's job is to simply amplify the signal. That's what we want. So you want a neutral amp and that's where these really excel audibly. They are extremely neutral. They don't add anything. They just do their job amplify what they're, what they're given, and that's what we wanted to do. Now to take how it sounds one step further, back in September, I had a really good friend down that actually designs home theaters, but he also calibrates rooms. He's calibrated a ton of different rooms. And so he's used to room tuning and listening to discrete sounds and how dynamic the room sounds and things like that. So he was down for Cedia, which Cedia is the largest electronics uh, get together in the nation. All the different manufacturers get their best equipment, you know, whatever is coming up in the new year, and they just try to wow everyone that shows up. So he was coming down from CD. He actually lives in another country. So he spent three days here. He flew here first before he went to Cedia. Spent three days here, demoed the room. So of course, being a room calibrator, he had a ton of different scenes he listened to to see how the room performed and listen for details, see how the, everything panned around the room, the separation of all the speakers, and just see how it performed. So we did that for three days. He left here and immediately went to Cedia. And so the very next day after leaving here, he was demoing rooms from Alcon, JBL and others. So because he had spent three days here, then immediately flew over there to go listen to these other rooms, you know, the very next day, he was able to compare the performance of my room to these rooms. Now understand these rooms are the best of the best. I mean, they're showing, you know, they got $30,000 processors. A lot of these rooms had over $100,000 in just speakers. You know, the whole room, some of them, you know, were approaching a couple hundred grand for all the gear. Now, I know three different people that went, I couldn't make it, but I know three guys that went and they all pretty much ranked the rooms the same. The top room was the Gramani room. The second one was the Ascendo and the Trinov demo room. That was everyone's second. Third was Alcon and then four behind was JBL. JBL's room was kind of weak this year, but understand the room's performance and the way it sounds is 
heavily dependent on room setup, the layout, the acoustic treatments, and room tuning is ginormous. Uh, you know, if you miss one of those steps, your room's really gonna lag. So, you know, JBL does have a really good product, really good speakers. So kind of take that for what it is. Now, now of course, any dealer that's trying to push a speaker is gonna tell you their room was the best. These were three unbiased uh, guys that I know personally, and this is how they all ranked the room. But anyway, my buddy that was here ranked my room pretty much on par with the Grimani room, which was the top room. So that was just his opinion, so take it for what it is, but in his opinion, this room performed and sounded as good as the best room at Cedia. And of course, this room was running the 8300. It was running the entire system. I had 7.1.4 when he was down to demo. I didn't have the wides on because I wanted to run just the 8300 and nothing else. But it was the 8300. I mean, that's what was powering the whole room. The Tone Winner 8300. So it is a fantastic amp. It sounds great. The price is pretty much unbeatable. Uh, for what you're getting when you compare it to the competition out there. It's just a great amp, solid amp. I recommend this to my room plan clients. You know, I just have a hard time pushing other brands. I mean, in my mind, why should we pay more just to get the same thing? I mean, you, you can pay double, you can pay triple, but I mean, what are you going to gain? In my opinion, you're not going to gain anything. All you want is an amp that hits your levels cleanly. And that's what's important. You need to be able to hit your desired levels with headroom and... It needs to be clean. That's it. All right, guys, so that's going to be it for this one. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit, hit that notification bell. Now, I do have some new videos that are about to come out. Amir at Summit Hi-Fi has sent me all three of their new subwoofers. They've got two 12-inch ported subs and a 15. The 15 has already been compression tested against a PB16, and it beat it at a fraction of the price. So I'm looking forward to getting those. I'm going to do ground plane measurements, compression test on all three of those subs so we can kind of see how they each one compares the price point again just like the rest of the tone winners pretty ridiculous for what you're getting and also amir is sending me his 11 channel amp to review now this is not tone winner this is actually summit hi-fi's own amp he has designed it but i mean this is a beast it's like 86 pounds has two uh transformers in it it is just just it's basically two amps in one chassis it's a flat out b so i'm looking forward to reviewing that now if you guys are interested in any of these products look down in the description i do have links to them uh if you're not sure about something and you want to just talk about it call amir up at summit hi-fi he's a fantastic guy superb customer service he does handles all the warranty work for tone winner himself and of course he's going to warranty his products that he is making under his own brand that's going to be it for this one guys i'll see y'all for the next one